VFX or visual effects are one of the things that you can't ignore if you want to keep the player engaged. Although there are tons of things that come under visual effects. But in this video, I will show you how you can create a full screen particle system just like this leaf falling overlay. Now the method I used to create is dynamic, so it will work on every screen sizes. And as always, all the related links will be in the description. So the first thing first, get yourself a leaf. Now let's open Godot and now let's create a new scene and then add particle 2D node under it. Now in the particles 2D node, I'm going to first set the image in the texture property. Now set the amount to 20 and in the time, set the lifetime to 5 seconds. Now in drawing section, make sure you uncheck the local coordinates. Now in the process material, add new particles material. And till now, I have made many videos which explain how all these options work. So to save your time, here are the values that you need to set. Now before moving into code, let him explain what we are going to do. Now since in most of the game, we use a camera to denote to just see the small part of the entire world. So we have to place the particle just above the visible screen area and the leaf will fall from the above. So our first task is to get the coordinate of the top left part of the visible screen. And then we will find the size of the visible area. Once we get these two things, we can now place our particle node just above the screen using the top left coordinate. And then expand the particle's emission shape to cover the entire length of the screen so that the leaf can fall from entire top screen. Now when we increase the emission shape, it expands in both left and right direction equally. So we have to place the position of the particle 2D node in the middle of the horizontal screen size and just above the screen and then expand it to the half size of screen which will then cover it fully. So let's create a script to do all of this. Now create a process function and create a variable canvas that contain the canvas transform. Now using this canvas transform we will get the coordinate of the top left position and then get the size of the current visible area. Now we have both the things. Now all we have to do is set the X position of the particles 2D node to the middle of the screen. And we will do this by adding half screen size in the horizontal direction. And now for the Y position, we just add 50 to the top left position to move it above the screen. And finally, we will set the emission shape length equal to screen size, width to 50 and Z axis will remain unchanged. And that's it. Just place this scene anywhere in your tree and here you have your beautiful leaf falling animation. In the next video, I will show you how to create this blood overlay, which of course will be dynamic and look perfect in every screen size. So subscribe to the channel to get notified. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.